All right, guys, we have the 57th hired request of the 2017 summer list up today. The Brady Bunch, time to change. And let's hear a little bit of the intro here. So this arrangement will have melody in the right hand, so you'll be able to sing along with it and play the melody if you'd like. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here. I'm going to teach you the introduction the way I just played it for you there. And the rest of the lessons for this are on, on my website, webpianoteacher.com, along with thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've made over the past 12 years now, 11 or 12 years, something like that. Works on all mobile devices, something on there for everybody, even if you are a complete beginner, which if you are new to my method, I recommend doing my easy lessons. There's 50 of them on the site that will help you to start from ground zero and get used to my method so you can learn songs like this. Although there are some people that just jump in and start learning. So this is a, an arrangement that I've done from the original. And I put the melody in the right hand as was requested by me from the person who hired me to do this. So this has melody in it and it should sound, you know, just as close as you can get uh, to the, uh, the original on uh, uh, playing it on just piano. So here we go. Left hand D octave. And we see, see we have a do. So I'm kind of following the bass line there in the bass guitar because there's no piano in this, right? So uh, D octave, then an A in the middle. Okay, that's the first measure. So the right hand's going to have a D chord, A, D, F sharp. I'm going to use one, two, four, three of those really quick, and then play another one, and then move it up to B, E, G. Right? The harmony they're singing, there's really only two parts, but I added a third note just to make it sound okay on the piano. Let me go back to F sharp, uh, the D chord, right there. Play it again. And then we'll do G, D, E with one, two, three. Back to A, D, F sharp. So kind of flap your wrist a little bit if you think of it that way. Da, da, da. You don't want to tense up when you have fast things. Uh, that's what people do. They think, oh, it's fast, and they lock up, and that actually works against you. Stay loose. Bum, bum, bum. If you can flap your wrist that fast, then you can play that fast. Okay, keep a high wrist as well. Putting it together, left, together, right, right, left, right, right, together, right. Again, one. to death. Everybody uses too much pedal, so they learn not to. So watch that pedal. Left hand. So let's look at the left hand first. G octave, D. Back to G octave. G, G. And then you can do single notes there. B, C sharp. I was doing octaves. It may be a little bit too hard for some of you with the left hand octave. So if you want to go G, 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 B, C sharp. Or G, 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 B, C sharp. Back to the single, or the you know slower notes there. So I'm doing octaves, but if you want to do a single note on the B, C sharp, it's up to you. The right hand, D, G, B, one, two, four. E, A, C with one, three, five. Well, I think I've been playing E, G, C. But I like E A C better, so let's do that. Back to G, back to D G B. Ba, 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 ba. So hands together, left and right, and together, right, together, left, 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 left. So one. Again. Okay. Then this. It's exactly like the top. Okay, so you already know that once you learn first measure. Then let's take a look at this. This goes to A chord. Da, 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 da. So that's going to be A, E, A, 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 C, C sharp. 
want to do octaves, you can. Depending on your mood. All right. The right hand, A, C sharp, E. I'm going to use one, two, three so that I can go A, D, F sharp with one, two, four. And then A, E, G with one, three, five. Okay. Those little dots above are staccatos. They just mean reminding you to play it short. Let it go. All right. So left hand goes first. Right, right, together, right, together, A. And then the verse jumps right in and Greg starts singing right there. And uh, I mean, we've all heard this, those of you who are my age, I mean, being at home and flipping around the TV, you just come upon a Brady Bunch episode and there's not that many of them, so we've probably all seen them multiple times. So, starting right here, Sha la la, whatever they're singing. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Then we'll come in with the verse there. Remember the flapping of the wrist. Stay loose. You can do it. If 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 it seems really hard and you're ten, I mean you're 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 making it too hard if you're doing that. You have gotta loosen up. Loosen up. Sometimes all the notes may come out, may not come out at first, so you really get used to it. And then, uh, then it'll start to work for you. Okay, let's tackle the next section in part two on webpianoteacher.com. Hope you guys enjoy the part one. Talk to you later.